Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough, and we are continuing the Mutant Genesis uh, expansion box playthroughs, and we are up to Mansion Attack. And uh, I am playing Colossus Pieter Rasputin uh, with the pre-built uh, protection deck. In my previous video, where I played the uh, second scenario of this box where I was playing Colossus. I uh, did the setup a bit wrong for uh, Colossus, so it says search your deck for a copy of Organic Steel and add it to your hand, and instead I put it into play right away. Well, uh, we end up losing that scenario, so uh, it didn't make a difference for the outcome. Uh, but this time I'll try to play better, and keep in mind these are blind playthroughs, so Cards are new, I might miss something uh, when filming, so <laughs> don't worry about that, I certainly don't. In this scenario we have four different villains and four different uh, 2A main schemes. Uh, we need to shuffle them and uh, put them into play in a random order, so let's do that. Uh, so I have already, all of them have tough, so I have tough there and I have the health. Uh, for for them, I will shuffle them behind my back so I can see which uh, villain will come up first. Uh, for standard, which we are playing, uh, we need to defeat two of these villains. So uh, two of them we won't be having in play, except if some encounter card uh, t tells us to shift them. So uh, we start against Pyro. Uh, okay, so. Pyro has 14 health, so we'll put the health total here. This we don't need. Then we'll shuffle these. These all have the same back, so I can see what they are. Uh, so let's just shuffle them for a bit. Then we'll put them behind this card. And uh, we are ready to go. So, uh, without further delay, uh, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. Uh, first off, we need to determine this, so we'll flip it. So when revealed, deal each player a face down and count a card. Advance the next card in the main scheme deck and add this to the victor display. So this goes away. And the first one is uh, the basketball court. Its ally and minion gains toughness. Okay. Uh, when completed, add this scheme to the victory display. Advance to the next card in the main scheme deck. If there are three main schemes in the victory display. The game, uh, the players lose the game. Okay, well, that isn't good. There is one threat on it in the beginning. And we are ready to draw our opening hand, so um, quickly going through the save the school. So force response, after the villain is defeated, if there are X villains in the victor display, the players win the game, see rulebook, page 15, otherwise deal each player and encounter card and reveal the next villain. If a minion with the same title as the new villain is engaged with the player, discard that minion and the villain activates against that player. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I think if I understand correctly, now that we have Pyro, uh, if we reveal Pyro, the villain activates against us. Uh, if we didn't have Pyro in play and the second villain would be Pyro that we reveal, then if we had Pyro engaged with us, the villain immediately activates against us and we discard the minion so that we can't have two Pyros running around. Okay, well, I think that's everything for the setup, so we can draw our opening hand, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and we have Perseverance, Polaris, Mutant Protectors, Powerful Punch and Pro Mutant Protectors, Theater Studio. Uh, let's see, I, I think we can Mulligan 1 Mutant Protectors away. We get Organic Steel, then the setup rule says that we need to search for an Organic Steel and put it in our hand. So we'll do that. And I'm doing it this way. Uh, I, 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 I think there's a debate on which order you should do these setup instructions. So um, I don't have the main rule book at hand at the moment because I forgot to look for it. It's, it's in my uh, big box of cards somewhere. So um, it might be that you have to search for the card before you draw an opening hand, but I'll play it this way. I don't mind, it's my my playthrough and I can do whatever I want actually. So, uh, we have two uh, organic steels in play, so I think uh, we could play both of them. That would be really nice. Maybe we don't, we just play one. I'll use, uh, I actually will want to play Perseverance, so I'll use the Mutant Protectors and Hitler Studio. That's not that important at the moment. So. We'll play that. It comes into play with two. Then uh, we'll flip to hero mode, and I'll play perseverance with uh, I'll use powerful punch. No, I'll play. Yeah, I'll, I'll save Polaris, so I'll play with it with Powerful Punch because I don't have resources to play the Powerful Punch either way, so uh, we'll get a tough immediately, then we get a tough because we uh, turn into Colossus and we are ready to start dealing some damage here. So there's nothing happening except there's Pyro here, so Colossus will just hit off the tough and that is it. Uh, so, nothing else to do, we ready up, uh, we draw back up to 4, strength and powerful punch, so we are able to play Polaris probably next round. We'll go to the villain phase, uh, we add one threat to the main scheme, pyro attacks, um, so re force response on pyro, after pyro attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck, take one indirect damage for each printed resource icon discarded this way. Okay, but if I remember correctly, we can just ignore it with a tough, but that's still bad because we're losing toughs. So um, I won't defend for this attack, so uh, we'll see the boost icon it is. If the villain is towed, it is not, so uh, we'll take one, but that's that, and we get one, two resource icons. So we'll remove another tough, but we'll uh, save one tough with the living uh, or the organic steel. And that is it, so we get the encounter card. We already had one, so the first is the Brotherhood. Hinder 2. Each Brotherhood of Mutant Minion gains Quick Strike, and this gives a additional encounter card each round. It has 3 threat on it. No idea how we are getting rid of that, but then we get Hopping Mad. Uh, Toad activates against you if he's not in place, so the encounter deck can discard part for the Toad Minion and reveal him. Okay, well, we are searching for the toad. Where is the toad? Toad is over here. Okay, so toad gains quick strike, so toad activates immediately against us, so we'll take one. Uh, or we lose a tough again, so. <laughs> Getting pounded here with Colossus immediately, but it is what it is. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, I think our priority is to get rid of 
coach because uh, it's a nasty it's nasty to have multiple enemies in play. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, um, this had hinder too, so this actually has five. So let's correct that. So um, we have choices. We could play Polaris and double hit Toad. Or we could have actually um, played the powerful punch. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll use strength and powerful punch to play Polaris. And uh, we get a tough. So we double hit Toad, defeating Toad. And that is all of what we can do. I'll keep that uh, organic steel in hand. We get Maid of Rage, Professor X, and Powerful Punch. We'll go to the villain phase. Um, Pyro will add one here. Pyro attacks. I'll take it with Colossus. We'll take no damage. We discard two cards. There are two resource icons. So. I'll take two indirect, so one on. Well, I'll take both on Colossus because we don't have toughs. Then I will use this. We get a tough. And then we get two encounter cards because of the Brotherhood side scheme. Uh, first is Metamoric Mayhem. When defeated, the player who defeated, defeated this scheme shuffles its shapeshifter card from the encounter discard pile into their deck. And protect the students. Uh, when defeated, the player who defeated the scheme searches their deck and discard file for an ally and adds it to their hand. And hit stops us from scheming the uh, main scheme. So that that is bad. Okay. Well, again, <laughs> seems like we are picking the wrong scenarios for Colossus because we again have bunch of side schemes in play but uh, that is the villain phase so let's go to the next hero phase okay uh, I think oh dear uh, it's ally and minion against toughness so let's correct that uh, so I uh, forgot this toughness Thing. So we remove the toughness, we dealt two damage to Toad. Uh, Polaris also had toughness and we removed that when she attacked. <laughs> New cards messing up. So when Toad uh, is attacking us, we'll play uh, the powerful punch to defeat Toad. And actually, because, well, we didn't know that we had that in hand. So I'm using Professor X and uh, The organic steel. Shame to lose that organic steel, but it is what it is. So we uh, deal, deal four damage to that enemy. So let's see. We only have one card in hand, so I think our turn will be straightforward. We'll hit two here, then we'll hit and uh, remove one tough. We for made of rage. When you make a basic attack, discard tough status card from your hero. You get plus six attack for that attack, and that attack gains overkill. That would have been good if the Toad would be in play, but we didn't know uh, that Toad would be in play, and we would have lost the tough. Okay, so we deal 8 damage with uh, Colossus, so Pyro is down to 2. So we are whittling down Pyro, but we are out of toughs, and we have a bunch of side schemes in play, so let's see how this progresses. So 4 cards. Uh, we get the Steel Fist, Nightcrawler, Protective Training, and Iron Wheel. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Pyro 
attacks. I will defend with Colossus, so we get four, so two, we take two, and then we have to reveal two cards. There are two resource icons, so we'll take two indirect damage on Colossus. Then uh, we get uh, two encounter cards. First is the brother who will beat down when revealed for each of the following enemies in play. Pyro, take two indirect damage. I'll take it on Colossus. And the same again who we'll shuffled this deck. So uh, we are down to four health. So we are whittling down Pyro, but Pyro is beating us down too. And that. Uh, was two in counter cards, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, I think we can still fist uh, Pyro. Uh, yeah, so Iron Wheel, and we also would like to have Nightcrawler, but I don't think we can afford that. So, I'm using Nightcrawler and Iron Wheel to play Steel Fist. We defeat Pyro. So, Pyro goes to victory display and we get Toad. So, Toad has toughness and 13 health. And let's see. So, yeah, we put uh, Pyro into the victory display. The Pyro minion can still come out. And I think I'll just uh, remove the top immediately with uh, Polaris. And we'll go actually heal. Um, let's see what Py uh, Toad does. So. Toughness victory to force response after Toad attacks and damages a character you control. This for one random card from hand. So that is that is not nice with our low hand size. I'll keep the protective training in hand. I'll actually yeah I'm already in. A, so uh, uh, after you change to this form, shuffle a Colossus card from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, I, into your deck, I mean. So we have. I think Bulletproof Protector would be good. Uh, made out of Rage is actually better for next round because we're... Uh, no, we, we will heal, so... Uh, I think Organic Steel. And we shuffle that in. Our, okay. Maybe... I'll put the made out of raids instead. We want to get the tough and punch, so we shuffle this in fact that card into our deck. Okay, and that is our turn, we ready up. We draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five. We get the uh, shadow and steel. Titanium Muscles, Defensive Energy, Steel Fist, Perseverance, and we have the Protective Training, so we can boost Polaris and keep Polaris in play longer. We'll go to the Villain Phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, and uh, so we'll scheme for 2 plus 1 and attach this card to a minion and give it a tough status card. Well, no minions in play. We advance this, this goes into the victory display. And we flip this one. We are in the cafeteria next. So each character gains retaliate one. This is murder for uh, Colossus's toughs. Well, when completed, at this scheme to victory display, advance to the next card in the main scheme deck. There are three main schemes in the victory display. Players lose the game. And we get two encounter cards again. Oh, 
homesick, you may flip to alter ego, exhaust Pietro, Rasputin, or remove homesick from the game, discard, discard, and eat tough status card from your identity. If you discard no tough status cards, this can't scale search. I'll just uh, search this advance. Uh, 2 plus 3 because of uh, 2 plus 2 because of the metamorphic mayhem. Uh, villain is not pyro. Then uh, we put 3 here. No, we put 4. Because that had 2, 2, so 4 scheme. And immovable, when reveal blob activates against you, if he is not in place, just encounter deck and discard file for blob, minion, and reveal him. Let's search for blob. Uh, blob seems to be in the discard pile, apparently. Yeah, there's blob. So, unfortunately, Blob has card. We need to defeat Blob. Yeah, we don't need to shovel the discard pile. Okay, uh, so... Uh, so, to remember, uh, everyone has retaliate. Also, my characters. <laughs> so, <coughs> uh, excuse me. So, um, retaliate is maybe good, but maybe not. Nice. Uh, block against quick strike, but we are in alter ego, so block doesn't hit us. And uh, yeah, that is everything. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we need to defeat Blob, then Toad. We are taking a bunch of damage. So we want to play We want to hit this with the steel fist on blob and defeat blob but we also want to play this we'll play that And yeah, so uh, we'll heal for four. We'll flip. We get a tough. We'll play uh, perseverance with uh, defensive energy. So. Oh yeah, defense event. This is not a defense event. I have to rethink this. Well, uh, we won't play the Perseverance. We could play Titanium Muscles. Yeah, I'll play Titanium Muscles. Then we'll play this on the Polaris. And uh, oh, such a shame. Do we not need to tighten any muscles yet? So we played the uh, protective training, and uh, maybe we don't play the protective training yet. But how do we defeat Blob? I think I'll uh, 
won't play the titanium muscles yet. I'll use these two to play the steel fist. On blob, blob takes five, and uh, we lose tough. No, we don't lose the tough, but we'll uh, take the retaliate. We lose tough, and uh, we hit with Polaris to defeat Blob. We don't take the retaliate because we defeated the enemy. I'll just put this here to remember I have a retaliate myself, and. Uh, We'll take one damage on Polaris, so that is everything we ready up. We draw back up to five, uh, four. We get bait and switch. Uh, Steel Fist, defensive energy and titanium muscles. We don't have a defensive card in hand, unfortunately. We'll go to the villain phase. Toad attacks us. We'll defend. And... Uh, Two, uh, four, and it is not pyro, so we take four, minus two is two, and we retaliate one. Oh yeah, we add one here. We'll get two encounter cards, assault. Uh, toad attacks for 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay, we defended. Okay, so we lose one card. Yeah, um, well, of course, I should have defended with Polaris for that attack. We'll go a little back, season and I, I defended. We lose uh, bait and switch. Well, we are not probably defaulting. So, still fist it is. And the last card is Ground Swell. When revealed, Avalanche activates against you if that uh, is not in play. We search for Avalanche. And Avalanche also has Retaliate. So, just switch this over. But at least Avalanche doesn't have. Uh, uh, guard, so we can try to whittle down Toad. So I think it's a uh, quick uh, steel fist and get the hell out of here next round. So that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, um, I think everything we can do is to play the steel fist on Toad. Uh, toad retaliates for one, takes five damage, so seven left. We'll flip to uh, alter Ego, and I will shuffle. Well, Steel Fist is an attack. And uh, yeah, we'll shuffle Steel Fist into our deck. And we draw, uh, we ready, draw back to six. We get made of Rage, which will win us the game if we survive that long. Uh, protective training, Steel Fist, Bulletproof Protector, Genius, and Mutant Protector. So now we just need to hope Blob won't resurface. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one here. Uh, Toad activates or schemes, we advance this, that goes into victory display. Next one is the Atri Atrium, its character gains steady, so we need two stuns and confuses to stun and confuse anything. Uh, when completed, add this scheme to the victory display, if there are three schemes in the victory display, the players lose avalanche schemes for one. So it's not an attack, so nothing else happens. We get two encounter cards, and these will decide if we win next round or lose. Assault searches. Uh, protect the students. Doesn't affect us, we just ignore it. And 
and mutant terrorist. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard part for the Brotherhood side scheme and reveal it. If it did not enter, play this way, discard this card from the list. Uh. Okay, so we search for a Brotherhood mutant. And please don't be mystic. That would. Okay, we get Pyro, so Pyro doesn't stop us from uh, killing of Toad. These retaliates are also gone. So Pyro, after Pyro attacks you, so Pyro won't get the chance to attack. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, uh, only thing for us left to do is to go to hero form. We get a tough. And uh, we can made of rage this. So we'll just hit Toad, made of rage, so we get plus 6 attack, so that is 8, and Toad is defeated, and we lose the tough. So that was um, an interesting scenario, I feel uh, with rushing you can just ignore every side scheme there is, I'll actually have to check if we have any side schemes that are really annoying. Okay, uh, just for curiosity, what is the last one? Okay, the courtyard, so it's get plus one attack, so no uh, main scheme that gives everything guard, so it's pretty easy if you don't get blob in your way or mystique, because mystique is... Uh, uh, players cannot attack the villain, so those two cards stop you from hitting the villain. So, uh, if if you just rush down the villains, uh, those side schemes can be ignored to a point and uh, protect the students. Well, if we are not uh, uh, thwarting the main scheme, then protect the students doesn't do anything. But still, it seems like a really fun scenario and I will be probably playing this quite a lot uh, of camera because I, I enjoyed this. Uh, so uh, I think now I played the uh, Colossus correctly, but if I made any play errors, remember this is a fine playthrough and just leave a comment in the video description if you notice something I missed. So hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.